welcome and good morning in today's class you will see simulation of software rectifier without filter and with filter before going into circuit let us know what is off wave rectifier we know that off wave rectifier is used to, to convert ac to dc this is our circuit at the input you are having an ac source 230 volt ac source the 230 volt ac is connected to your primary winding and secondary winding is connected to a diode and then after diode we are having a load now what happens here is the diode will conduct only during the positive cycle and during the negative cycle there is no conduction we know that the diode will not conduct in negative cycle because cathode is more positive than anode and hence the diode will go into reverse bias condition and hence it will not conduct during the negative cycle. This is without filter and you can see that this is not a pure DC. This is an pulsating DC. Next you will see with filter. Again same thing AC input, transformer, diode, resistor, capacitor. Here we are having a capacitor and here you can now you can see that the DC is not, pul is not pulsating as much in the previous circuit. Here the output is somewhat constant. This is the use of your filter. To smoothen your output need and without a filter you will getting and you will get an pulsating wave positive pulse zero positive pulse zero positive pulse zero but here you are getting maximum measure value maximum measure value it never in this waveform the output never reaches zero here it reaches zero during negative cycle and again it gets a maximum value during positive now let us simulate this two circuit using our mat. So we will go to library, Jimscape, Sim Power System, fundamental blocks, electrical source, AC voltage. voltage measurements transformer resistor tayo or they First, let us arrange the circuit diagram. First, AC source, next, transformer, next, diode, next, load, then we are going to connect two voltage machine, one on the primary side, other on the second side, then, screw. Now let me connect the output of the source to the transformer and then the voltage measurement to the input. Here you are having a linear transformer. In our case, we need only 
step down transform to convert the linear transform to step down transformer double click it go to block parameter uncheck 3 winding transformer and here give the value as 230 0 to apply ok next fire Will select any value I am giving 200 then voltage measurement across your First, the input voltage measurement, next, the output voltage. Now, let us assign the value AC source 320, frequency is 50. Go to transformer. Change the frequency, voltage, input voltage, and apply. Go to the node and assign the value to the node. Let us simulate the circuit. Now go to screw and change driving two waveform in a single window to allocate different window for different waveform. Go to setting, go to this tab and select the first window. Next go to view and the parameters. Now this is our input waveform and this is our output waveform. And again, you can see that with the output we are having only the positive cycle and we don't have the input cycle. So we don't have the negative waveform because diode it conducts only during positive cycle and it not conduct during night cycle. Now let us go to the circuit and check the output for the same circuit with filter. To create a filter, next we will see off wire rectifier with for that add on capacitor.
Double click it, change the R value into capacity and assign the value. And then connect the capacitor to the circuit. Now simulate our circuit. Now you can see that. Now in output, you don't have any major variation. Here, in previous case, the output was coming down to zero and increasing, coming down to zero and increasing. Here the output never comes down to zero, but here it fluctuates between 20 to 25. We are achieving this, this waveform is achieved by using the capacitor. The capacitor charges during pause cycle and it discharges the voltage during negative cycle. And during the next pause cycle it charges and during the next negative cycle it discharges. Now we are having an somewhat constant pure DC. Still I can reduce this fluctuation in the output by changing the value of either capacitor or resistor. If I increase the value of resistor, now let us see what will happen. You can see that the output, it smooth, a little bit of smoothening is happening in the output. Now next let us change the value of capacity. You can see that the smoothening of current. Smoothening can be achieved by varying the capacity value or hardware. Thank you.